Well, let's turn to Dan Konzelman now. He says he was driving on the interstate when he saw the train derail. Says he got out and climbed into the train to try to help passengers. Sir, good of you to be here. What would you find in that train? Hey, thanks for having me. Um, we ran up on the rails, uh, and not a lot of people had gone up into those cars, just the ones down on the freeway. Um, the first two cars we went into, um, most of the people were able to climb out themselves. No major injuries, some some minor head injuries, um, a lot a lot of people having trouble breathing, probably because they got the wind knocked out of them, or maybe maybe worse. We don't know uh, yet, um, but ran up there and did my best to, um, I guess, evaluate if people were uh, badly injured and, um, and then kind of escorted them down to the freeway where um, we had hoped that medical uh, response would show up, and they did probably about 15 minutes after uh, the initial incident. Um, from there, just um, worked my way down to the more seriously damaged cars. Um, officer, uh, there was a excellent officer that I took his name down, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. Um, but he had a, light, a flashlight and I had a headlamp and we worked our way through these ca these train cars one at a time. Um, and when we find somebody, we'd evaluate their injury and then try to either get them out of the car or assign somebody to just be there with them, keeping them warm uh, and keeping them from moving until we could get a gurney in there to remove them. And we worked our way all the way down through the cars with our, with the flashlight and the headlamp, some of the car's roofs were caved in. We had to crawl um, on the ground underneath the wreckage with broken glass. And then uh, once we got the majority of the of the train cars that were upright cleared out, we we broke through the window, uh, jumped down out, and then there was a train car that was upside down where the roof had kind of blown off. Wow. That's where the the majority of the major injuries were, where people were kind of pinned underneath the train and. Um, I think that's where probably four of the fatalities were. So that was where we spent probably the next 40 minutes just trying to, honestly, there's not a whole lot you can do for some yeah. of that. And well, it's, it sounds like, just, Dan Konzelman, you, you did more than most might have. And, and what, what a great guy. I, 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 know, I know they'll be thanking you whether they know your name or not. Uh, you do what you can on a day like this, and it sounds like you were able to do a lot. Dan, Dan Konzelman, one of our heroes of the day.